Master Ken here with a special episode of Master Ken's Privates out in Puerto Rico, an island known for two things, plantains and prostitution. Today, here with me are a variety of people you may have heard of. Uh, Craig Jones, famous Canadian UFC fighter. Uh, you are? Gary Tonin. Gary Tonin, famous for his mullet. And then Mr. Danahar, who is, of course, associated with DDS, which I assume stands for Defective Dong Syndrome. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Please, Mr. Danhart. Uh, we've all got defective dongs. <laughs> all right, so he's going to show us the antidote to DDS. A lot of people refer to him because of his knowledge of jujitsu as the rain man of grappling. So it's the rain man versus the pain man. My students are well known for their leg locking skills. Much of what we do is based around the concept of distance. If we have an opponent who's closing distance, Craig Jones will demonstrate taking an inside reach and going through into a leg lock. Very often we'll have opponents who try to deny distance and move back and away. This will force Gary Tonin to come up, capture his opponent, and drag him down using the legs. As we get a defensive reaction, he switches from outside heel hook to inside heel hook and goes for the finish. All right, my number one problem with the Dana Hard Dong Squads technique is that it is not something that would work in a street situation. A lot of these guys focus on competition rules where you're not allowed to do things that you would be allowed to do in the street. For instance, let's say that the Canadian fighter over here uh, puts me in a basic entangled uh, kind of leg lock situation. What I see is that they often ignore the other leg, right? Look at how I can poke him in the eye with my toe, okay? Look at how I could slash his carotid with my toenails, right? Look at how I could just put my toe right in his ear. He won't hear for the rest of his life. Other thing they don't think about is perhaps a multiple attacker situation with knives in a leg lock scenario. He goes for his leg lock, all of a sudden I have a knife, okay? Knife in the femoral artery, knife cutting the Achilles. Okay, try leg locking with a cut Achilles. Then this guy, okay, comes up behind me, okay? Reaching, okay, grabbing the blade, always grabbing the blade, okay? pulling, pulling the knife right out, okay? Now I have two knives, reaching here, slicing, Achilles, right? Look at that. Reaching back, stabbing right in the mullet, penetrating right in the mullet, okay? Down into the brain, twisting, killing. Another type of technique you can use in this situation, Lico, is utilizing an old Australian saying. Say a phrase for me, say, that's not a knife. That's not a knife. See, that's not a knife, okay? That's the type of thing you hear in Australia. But what you don't hear very often is about this special technique. That's not a knife, it's a knot knife. Tucking the knife right in the knot of your belt as you fight. There isn't a situation in a grappling scenario where he is safe. He comes in, tries to put me in the guard, okay? Look at that, penetrating, okay? <laughs> Just deep. Penetration. We go into the wrestling situation, okay? The wrestling here, the referees. Penetrating. There is not a situation where his hips are safe. Say he goes down into side control, okay? Look at that. Ribs. Say I go into north-south. Here. Stabbing. 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 Even headbutt and stab at the same time here, back and forth. And then as always, restomping that groin. <laughs> all right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Uh, on a quick note, this is all humidity. This isn't, I didn't break a sweat at all. I trained with these guys all afternoon. I wasn't impressed. I want to thank them for coming on the show. Uh, if people want to learn more about you, I know your careers are still sort of up and coming, so maybe they want to know specifically how to find you online since you're new to the, to the internet. Anyway, just Google them. <laughs> I'm Master Ken. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restomp that groin.